domestic firewood collection area 1st of March to the 30th of June inclusive well it's now the middle of April all the firewood rules safety rules there could be cameras in the area all right G'day folks, in this video I'm going to tell you all about the Still 120C battery powered electric chainsaw. I'm going to give you a bit of a quick overview, tell you about it, then I'm going to go and show you how it performs. Here it is down here, that's the chainsaw. This is the smallest of the Still battery powered chainsaws, the 120C. It's only small, I'm not going to go into specifications because I don't need to. When I was watching reviews for these videos there was all these specifications that I just didn't understand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use it and I'm going to show you how it works. And I'm going to tell you all about it and who I think it's good for and who I think it's probably not suited to. Let's get started. Right now, first of all, there's the chainsaw. It's got two buttons at the back here, like a lot of electrical appliances. One won't work. You've got to push one in to free the other one. If you don't push the side button in, that one doesn't come up. The battery goes in there. There's a little clip there to release the battery. That's a chain break. So if it hits it, it cuts the chain out for safety purposes. The only maintenance on this whole chainsaw is on the side here. And that is your chain and bar lube. Your chain and bar oil. You've got to keep that oil, keep that topped up. And that just lubricates the chain. And other than that, that's it. I am in a, uh, a dedicated firewood collection zone at the moment. And one of the rules says that your chainsaw must have a good exhaust system and uh, spark plug suppression or something like that. I don't know. This doesn't have an exhaust or a spark plug because it doesn't have a bloody motor. On the side here, you can undo this circle, take the side plate off, and that's how you can access your chain. And that's how you access your chain. You can take your chain off, put a new chain on, tension the chain. That'll give you your initial tension, then you put that on the side, and then you've got your tensioner up the top here to give it the, uh, the final tension. And that's all there is to it. There's no maintenance, there's no tools. This chainsaw does not require any tools at all to use or operate. It's tool free, fuel free, and awesome. Now the battery. This is the battery. It's fully charged. On the back here you'll see there's a few buttons. If I push that, a few lights, if I push this button, all four green lights show up. That tells me I've got full power. From full power, that's supposed to give around about half an hour of battery life, half an hour of usage. So if I drop that in there, that won't start because you can see the battery is sitting up. You've got that, you've got that, you've got different levels, so that's locked in, ready to go. Push that, and out she all comes. So if you just drop it in once, it locks it into position. That locks, that's locked into position, but it won't work because it's not all the way in. So you've got to make sure it's all the way in. Something that uh, sort of done my head in a little bit when I first started, I'd pull the trigger and nothing would happen. But there's a little bit of a delay, it's only like half a second. When you start it, pull the trigger now. See that half a second delay? So that uh, if you, when you first put it together, make sure you hold the trigger in for a second and then away she goes, ready to go. Like I said earlier, the only maintenance is the, uh, the bar, the chain bar and oil um, lube in there and yeah, chain tensioning and that's it, there's no maintenance and obviously chain sharpening. Anyway, I've told you about it, let's go and cut up a few little logs. Now I'm having a fire pit at my place, now I've got a fire pit, like a fire drum and I'm having a bit of a backyard bonfire, it's not very big and I want some logs varying in diameter up to around about 60 centimetres long, so let's go and cut some wood and see how it goes. Well, folks, as I said, I am in a dedicated uh, firewood collection area. Now, I'm not after big logs for a canara. I'm just after some small branches for my, uh, my fire drum tonight. Some like these. This one's a bit bigger. One of the good things about just wanting wood for a fire drum is that most of the firewood collectors that have been out here don't want this sort of wood. They want bigger, bulkier, um, better wood. This is perfect for a fire drum. I 
Another good thing about the electric chainsaw, it's not idling. Once you stop cutting, dead silence. So it's very, very quiet to use. Right now, just from sawing for a minute or so, those two branches, I've already got some quite nice wood for my fire drum tonight. I'll put them in the car, then I'll go up the track a bit further and see what else I can find. Just before I put the chainsaw on the car, just for safety purposes, it's always good to push that battery and just pop the, push that button and pop the battery up a bit, just to disengage it. Check this out. There's a tree across the track. Someone's cut it out of the way. I didn't cut this, but that little 120C chainsaw would absolutely have cut that if I'd needed to. Trees that size falling across the track, no problem at all. But thankfully I don't have to worry about it this time. And the chainsaw fell over in the back of the car, but that's okay because no petrol leaked out. Here's a bigger log. Now I've got to be careful not to dig the chain in the dirt, because if I do, that will blunten it in no time. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. That won't even fit in my fire drum. I'll probably have to split this one. I might cut it there, then I can split it with an axe. I'll cut it through this big knot. I'll split that into kindling. It's starting to rain. Oh dear, look at all the termites in there. Might leave that one out here, I think. But anyway, even though it's pouring rain, I'm going to retreat to the car. It's full of termites. But you can see how well this weenie little chainsaw can cut through big logs like that. No problem at all. Get me out of the rain. Right now, I ventured back out after the rain. It was quite a heavy shower, actually. You can see all the sawdust from where I was sawing. That little steel 120C has cut through that log quite easily. It's quite a reasonable size log for a small chainsaw, and it done it with ease. In here, it's a little bit rotten on the inside, and it's got termites. It will burn, no worries at all, but whether you want to take termites home or not is totally up to you, but I'm certainly not going to be taking them back to my house. I would happily take them back to camp and throw them on the campfire, but uh, as far as having termites around the house, well, that's something I think we all want to avoid. So that can stay out here. But as far as cutting the log, I'm very impressed with the way that little still cut through there. Beautiful. This log here laying on the ground, he looks all right. It's probably a bit, uh, probably a little bit rotten. Wouldn't be good for an indoor heater, but would be fine for my fire drum. Beautiful. A bit rotten. That's okay though. Down comes the rain again. It's a little bit rotten, but that's okay. I'll split that into kindling wood. And as I get closer to the other end, I'll start getting some more solid logs. There's no white ants, and that's the main thing. I'll prop this up here so I can try and keep me sore off the bottom, off the, the ground.
Beautiful. That's a bit rotten. That's rotten, that is. Alright folks, there's the wood heap. That will do my little backyard fire drum perfect for tonight. It's only a small fire drum. And I've got a little bit of wood at home as well. That will go absolutely perfect. How much battery power have I still got in the little still? Three lights. I've only used one quarter of the battery. So theoretically I should be able to sort up four times that much without too many problems. That's really cool. Still MSA120C. Let's chat about a couple of things. Like I said at the start of the video, I'm not going to go into tech specs, that's just not my thing. Recommended retail price is $369 skin only. In other words, chainsaw without the battery, or $499 with the battery, and that's what I paid. But if I was to go and buy another still appliance, I could buy it skin only because I could use that battery. So $379 if you've already got a battery, uh, sorry, $369 if you've already got a battery, $499 if you want to buy the whole thing from scratch like I did. So 500 bucks, who's it good for? It's good for campers. It is ideal, an ideal chainsaw to have around the camp. Great for just pruning a few things around the camp if you need to. Or just cutting up a little bit of firewood to go on the campfire. Ideal for campers. Ideal for four wheel drives. We saw a moment ago that tree that had fallen across the track up there. This will be ideal just to carry around for those times when you just get stuck and you need to prune a tree out of the way. Ideal for campers, ideal for four-wheel drivers, and ideal for people with a backyard bonfire like I've got. That is, that is absolutely everything that I need in a chainsaw for my little fire drum at home. Who's it not ideal for? Probably firewood collectors that collect a lot of firewood, people that sell firewood. Because of the battery, you'd need to have a whole heap of spare batteries, and that would become very, very costly. And I think the, pet, the petrol-powered saws have got a little bit more grunt. This does the job, but the petrol power ones to probably do the, job, do the job a little bit quicker. So if you're a commercial woodcutter or somebody that just sells lots of firewood and you're, you're out sawing up trailer loads of firewood every weekend, you might want to stick to petrol. But if you're a casual chainsaw user like me that just wants a, a saw to take camping or take out the bush fishing or uh, for any other reasons just to carry with me in case there's a tree across the road or just to saw up wood for my backyard bonfire, absolutely ideal. I am in no way affiliated with Still. I paid full price for this chainsaw. I owe them nothing, but I think it's a wonderful, wonderful toy, and I just wanted to tell you all about it. Do I rate the Still 120C? My word, I do. It's an absolute ripper.